Jeremy. I'm not a uh, health professional. I'm not a doctor. I am, though I have the psychology background and cognitive behavior therapy certificate, I got from Australia. So, ang sabi nga, yung cognitive behavior therapy, yung best therapy for anxiety disorder. Kasi ang CBT actually helps you understand and feel comfortable doon sa sitwasyon na hindi ka komportable. So, it's like accepting na na ganun talaga no and you feel comfortable with it you don't struggle kasi pag nagsa-struggle tayo that is when you are stressed out kaya dapat tinatanggap in fact even cancer patients no um na-manage niya yon because of the cognitive behavior therapy na helping the client or the patient na i-accept yung kanyang kondisyon because in reality naman wala na sino bang may assurance sa buhay natin eh lahat naman tayo mamamatay talaga di ba but you know every day kahit sa mga normal na tao, they don't worry about it. No, it just, death just happens. So, dapat wala, hindi tayo kabahan, tsaka lalo na sa atin, may, lalo na yung mga spiritual side. A ako na lang, personally, I imagine death would be a very beautiful thing. Pero yung mo, pag death, lalo na kung uh, close ka kay God, no? So, imagine mo, tapos na yung paghihirap, walang gutom, walang uh, walang pain, walang sakit, walang puro joy lang, no? Kaligaya, imagine that. Pero I'm not saying na you commit suicide, no? Mali naman din yun. Kasi, while you're on earth, apay, ang sarap din naman mabuhay. So, dalawa yung masarap mangyari. Masarap mabuhay, masarap mamatay. Those things are gifts from God, no? Uh, medyo na naging spiritual side now. Kasi, minsan yun yung importante, no? Na kailangan maalala, maalala natin. But if you're not spiritual, then you find meaning in your life, no? You find meaning in your life. Bakit ka nabubuhay, no? Para saan ka? Maaring para sa ibang tao ka, like yung sa akin. Kaya pala ako nagkaroon ng, ng anxiety disorder is for me to help a lot of people. And I'm so happy because a lot of people uh, message me and, and uh, telling me na uh, nakakatulong daw yung mga ginagawa kong videos. Okay, this is our 27th video. Um, napadaan ako dun sa Ortigas, sa church. Anyways, um, ang, ang main concern talaga natin, kaya tayo na, na sa stress out, kaya tayo nagkakaroon ng uh, anxiety disorder, or even just anxiety, it is because we struggle. Okay? We struggle with our thoughts. No? We struggle with our thoughts kasi it is really all about thoughts. Kasi alam nyo bakit? May mga tao na na makakita sila ng problema and for them it's part of life it's normal na it is okay na magkakaroon sila ng problema from time to time and they can easily brush it off sa matalang yung iba naman especially my disorder aba konting ubo lang talaga eh cancer na sa kanila yun no? so you see pareho silang umubo yung isa uh, ubo lang to Uh, normal yun na nagkakaubo yung tao yun yung isa yung iniisip ng isa so hindi siya nagsa-struggle hindi siya nahirapan samantalang yung isa naman wala cancer na to umubo lang din siya wala cancer na to so you see parehong ubo no pero yung perception ng tao o yung pag-interpret niya dun sa simptomas na yon yung isa nagcatastrophize yung isa it's acceptance no medyo medyo close to facts siya kasi lahat naman umuubo eh no so really look at the way you think okay pag sinabi sa iyo ng doctor na oh may trangkaso ka or may flu ka do you struggle it is not comfortable it's it's hindi siya comfortable kasi may sakit ka eh no but it won't kill you it won't it won't let uh, I mean hindi siya delikado hindi siya mamatay kasi normal yun yung iba nga viral hindi na kailangan antibiotic eh. sometimes normal talaga na, na dadaanan niya yung mga symptoms na yun. it takes them 3, 5, 7 days tapos eventually makawala rin yun kaya yung mga doktor hindi nagbibigay ng antibiotic lalo na kung viral kasi normal sa ating mga tao na ganun okay so I bet pag sinabi sa'yo ng doktor na okay viral yung flu mo yung trangkaso mo hindi ka na nagsa-struggle na. Kasi alam mo eh, no? So, it is the same with anxiety disorder. Okay? By knowing na yung mga simptomas na ito ay brought about by adrenaline lang and your negative thoughts at nagtitrigger sa'yo yung fight, flight, freeze mo because of the perceived danger, that is when lumalabas. So, you just have to accept that also the way you accept flu. Or, Jeremy, meron kang anxiety disorder makaramdam ka ng iba't ibang simptomas, minsan may bago pa nga eh kasi naintindihan mo na yung mga simptomas na lumabas 
sa'yo then there's another symptom ngayon ilalagay mo ulit yun gawa na gawa kasi na anxiety disorder so yun yun eh nasolve mo na yung ibang mga symptoms alam mo na so hindi ka nagpapanik doon hindi ka nagsastruggle so there will be times na may dadating ulit na parang kakaiba or maaring nakalimutan mo na yung symptoms na yun e bumalik sa'yo so pwedeng matrigger ulit so but really pag natitrigger yun ah uh, tatanggapin mo lang para mawala ulit yung uh, cortisol o yung adrenaline sa katawan. Kasi pag na-trigger yun, mapapanik ka, magulat ka o meron. So, lalabas ng konti yun. Pero, you stop thinking uh, negative thoughts. Okay? Tata, sasabihin mo, ah, anxiety disorder to, ito lang naman yun. Okay? So, guys, again, it is about struggling. No? At yung struggle mo na yun, ginawa kasi ng utak mo na, hala, mamatay na ako, hala, mababaliw ako, hala, uh, magwawala ako dito sa lugar, hala, hindi ako makata. So, may mga struggle. Okay? So, tandaan nyo po yung thought na yun. So, pag na-realize nyo yun, sa araw-araw na ako nga, no, di na ako magsastruggle. Ayan, sa ating disorder pala na yan. So, I hope this video uh, helps you. This is 27. Medyo napahinga ako last week kasi sobrang busy talaga. Christmas season eh. Okay? So, I hope you subscribe and watch my other videos. Thank you. Good day.